Okay, so our English class is again. Good evening, I remember. Today, thank you for your class. Today is a dragon boat festival. So, have you everybody ate, uh, eaten rice dumplings? So, my name is Jessie Dean. And uh, today the topic is about make profit continuously in a board. <coughs> so we know recently the market is still in the uptrend. So today I will teach you how to make a profit continuously. My name is Jesse. So this is our course outline. So from today's course, you can know the composition of funds in the stock market. Bank operation for short term bank operation for long term, and how to pick strong stocks. So today I will teach you these four points, and this is our course outline. Okay, so let's see the current market. Okay, so this is course outline, okay? So maybe you like taking picture, but I think you re should remember in your mind, it is better for you. Okay, so <coughs> current market. For monthly chart, weekly chart, and daily chart, and if we see the monthly chart, which indicator we can use, and for weekly chart, we can judge the trend by trend line, and for daily chart, we can use chips distribution to judge where is the support and resistance. So firstly, let's see the monthly chart, because monthly chart is uh, one candlestick for month, for one month. So we can use KDJ indicator, or time period theory to judge the monthly chart. Then weekly chart, we can use trend line because we want to know whether the trend is uptrend or downtrend. Then we can use trend line to judge. <coughs> the next one for daily chart, we can know the support and resistance according to the chips distribution. So this is for current market. What strategy we should use to judge the current market? So, <coughs> Firstly, let's see the monthly chart because we can see this is the daily chart. Oh, we should uh, see the monthly chart. Then we can open the software and uh, click the window two. Then we can find the KDJ indicator to judge the monthly chart. Okay, so this is the monthly chart. So this, this is the current market. Then let's click the monthly chart. Firstly, let's see the monthly chart. We should know the, if we use KDJ indicator, firstly, we should find the parameter of J line. So if you see the J line is between, eight, uh, between 80 and 150, which means this is the overbought area. And if you see the KDJ is below 20, which means this is the oversold. So if you see the oversold, which uh, the, the price may rebound. If the price is in overbought, they may go down or retracement, okay? So let's see the current market. So firstly, we can see the current market. The J line is from, is from 80 to 150, what's that meaning? This is the overbought area. So if we see the J line downward cross K line and D line, which means the market may go down. So we should, you should pay more attention to the short term risk. And uh, you should pay attention because we can see this is the candlestick. Last time I already taught you the method. You also can use this method to judge. So we can see this is the low point, right? Then this is the candlestick one. So we should know which point is the lowest point. So this candlestick, the low point is 2529.01. This one, 2528. So this is the low point. Then we confirm this is the low point, candlestick one, candlestick two, then three, one, two, three. So you should know. Now, I already told you three, six, and nine are the turning point for current for the market. So you should pay more attention to the key point, key numbers, okay? Because we can see this is the candlestick one, candlestick two, then candlestick three, candlestick one, two, this one, 
cannot. This one is then we can see next day. High price is hyper. This is the candlestick three. So if you see next month, maybe the price go up again, which means you have another two months to catch the good profit. But if you see the price go down, you should know this is the sell point for short term. Okay, so for this is the monthly chart. We should pay more attention to the risk because for the KDJ indicator, J line already done, but still not downward cross. So we can wait and see. And for the key numbers, we can know now is the number three candlestick. So we should pay attention. This is the turning point. Okay, so this is the monthly chart. Then we can see the weekly chart. Weekly chart, we can draw the trend line because you should know whether the trend is suitable for making profit or not. Then we can see the trend line. How to draw the trend line? If you know two points, you can get the line, okay? So I have know this high point and this high point. Then I connect these two points and get the line. Then the third point touch the trend line, which means the trend line is effective. Then you confirm these two points, then we should find the low point between these two high points, then we can draw the line. Then the trend line will come out. So we can see the trend line, whether it's good or not. For this way, for this period, this is the downtrend. But we can see here, low point is much lower, which means the trend is reversal. Then we can connect this low point to this low point, get another upper trend line. And this one, two high point, between these two low points, we can get another line. So the trend line appears. We can see for the, we from, uh, we can know the trend is still uptrend for the current market, for the weekly chart. So you should know, if you want to do some trading, you also can do, but we should know, we should see here. If the price go down, then here is the sub resistance uh, support. Then if the price go up, this is the resistance. So you uh, for a weekly chart, you still have chance to catch some good profit. Okay. Then let's see the daily chart. Daily chart we can use chips distribution to judge where is the support and resistance. So we can see why the price after the break of this area then strong up. Why? Because we can see this is the chips. The chips which means the banker cost. So if you see the price up for the break out, this chips, uh, this big resistance, which means the trend will continue to go up. Then we can see these days that there's no chips, which means if you see the price go up, there's no resistance. So we can see the price continue to go up. And where is the support and resistance? So here is the support. Here is a, another support. So let's, let's see the daily chart. Okay, this is the daily chart. Firstly, we should find the low point or high point. Then we can connect this low point to the current price. Then we can connect this low point to the current price. Then we can click CD, chips distribution. Then we should know where is the support and the resistance. Because the chips distribution, you can see the blue chips, which means the resistance and the support. So this is the, uh, this is the function for judging the support and resistance. So let's continue. stock market we can see here why the stock market can operate because you can see they have so many funds the first one is securities the next one is bankers <coughs> then retailers then country the institution and the hot money so if you see the stock market they have so many funds in the stock market then we can see the first one. A man who loses money is always more than a man who makes money. Because in the stock market, if you have 10 
investors. Seven of them will lose money. Two of them will keep balance. Only one can make great profit. So in the stock market, if you want to make great profit, you should be different. You should have different mind. Okay. So the second one, retailers can only earn money of retailers. What's that meaning? Because in the stock market, retailers can make money from bankers or hot money or institutions cannot. Because retailers can only can make money from the other individual investors. Okay. Because maybe you have uh, some friends. Who, uh, who record, uh, record some stocks to you. Then if you buy, maybe you will lose money because you will lose money, then the others will earn money. So this is stock market funds. The banker operation for short term. Short term banker operation is just maybe a few days to a few months. So you sh firstly, you should judge. These bankers is the sh for short term or long term. So what's that meaning for short term bank operation? Because if you see this is the short term bankers, the rising only lasts a few days or a few months. Okay. So let's see the some individual stocks. Firstly, I give you one stock, then you can tell me this bankers is short term or long term. So let's see this one. This is the long term bankers or short term bankers. Long term bankers. Why? Because we can see the rising period is at least one year. So this is for long term. Then we can see next one. We see some high volume stocks or high rising percentage stocks. Then we can know this is the short term banker or long term banker. Then later I will show you how to pick strong stocks. Okay, so this is the price, the high volume stocks. Okay, then we can see the first one. This one, no volume. And we see some individual stocks. So we see these bankers is for short term or long term. From this starting point for rising to here, long term or short term. Okay, then we can see this one. From this period to this period. Then short term investors, maybe the rising <coughs> last a few days or a few months. Then chips holding less, generally holding less than 10%. Then more floating chips, banker not fully control. So you can see the hot money, mostly the hot money. Then the sell, selling pressure is heavier and only can use short term fundamentals. Usually in the sudden soar, the price rise after bottom breakout with substant high volume and would soon end. Okay, so let's see this one. We can see this stock. Firstly, we should judge the stock is deserved to focus or not. Then we can see this one. This one is for short-term bankers or long-term bankers. We just uh, judge according to the period. Obviously, it's short-term bankers, right? Okay, then we can see this stock. The stock go down, then sideways for a long period, right? Sideways for a long time. Then we can see this one, the green, for this one, the green decrease. Then this period, only hot money inside. This is the hot money, buy and sell, buy and sell. The bank money not fully controlled. 
which means this is the bottom area where is the good chance to get in if you see this is the sideways right it's the box so if you see the price can upward break out the box with the heavy volume with the increased volume so this is the good chance to get in okay so for this stock then we can see this one Then we can see this stock. Firstly, we can see the starting point and the tier the right tier the current price. Then we can see only a, a last uh, one month. So this is the short term banker. Okay. Then we can see this one. This is the box. Then we can draw the box. Okay. So for this stock. Then we can see this stock. We can draw the box first. So why this stock is the potential stock? You should learn the critical realistic. Okay. So firstly, we can see this stock is sideways and never hits a new low. Then we can see the volume. Volume, heavy volume, right? The volume increase. Then volume increase again. Volume increase. So if you see the volume increase during sideways area, which means some bankers operate these stocks, then where is the good buy point? If you see the price upward break off the sideways, this box, which means you have another chance to get in. So we can see here, for this peer, for this point, can we know this is a good chance to get in or not? Cannot. This one, whether can go in or not. This is the entry point or not. How to judge? This is the box. Then if you see the price upward break out the box, so with the own high volume, so this is the good chance to get in, okay? If you miss the chance, then we can see the price go down. Then upward break out again. So here is another chance to get in because this is a good point, good buy opportunity. Why? Firstly, we can see the price upward break off the box, the volume increase. So here is the good chance to get in. Then if you catch this good profit for short term trading, you can make small you can make great profit. Okay. So we can see the next one. Let's see this stock. So we can see this stock. What's the difference? So firstly we can see this stock sideways for short time, not for long time. Okay. The price go down. Then sideways, we also can draw the box. Okay. Then the price up for the breakout on high volume. This is the good chance to buy, to get in, okay? Then if you see here, sideways again, you also can draw the box again. If you see the price up for the break out the box, which means the good chance to buy, okay? So let's see this stock. I'll give you some stock, then you So firstly, let's see this one. Trend is downtrend or uptrend? Downtrend, okay. Then we know recently this price is sideways. How can do that? We can see here is the high point. Here is the low point. So you can you tell me whether this is the good chance to get in or not? So we can see if you never buy this stock, where is the good chance? Firstly, let's judge the chart pattern. The price go down sideways right. And we can see the volume increase, volume increase, and the volume increase. Okay, so we know maybe this stock have chance, but where is the good entry point? If you see the price after the break out this sideways area, 
I will break off this box on high volume. So this one is the good opportunity to get in. But for now, can we get in or not? No. Cannot, because never break out. You should wait and see, because for investors, if you want to make continuous profit, you should have patience, okay? So for this one, then we can see this stock. Firstly, we should judge the trend first. This is the sideways area, okay? So where is the good chance to catch good profit? Okay, then we should wait and see. But we can see on that thing, I would break out the box on high volume. What should we do? We should uh, know this is the good chance to buy. Okay, then you can make some profit. So every stock like this. So we can see this one. Moya holding recently so strong, right? Then we can see up, then sideways again. Here is the sideways. Where is the good chance to get in? If you see the price, I would break out the box on high volume. What's that meaning? This is the good entry point, good chance to buy. Then if you buy, you can earn some profit, okay? But see some different stocks. Let's see this one, okay? So we can see the sideways area. Then we see here, the price still sideways, right? But the weather can go in or not. If you see the price fall below the box, this is the sell point or stop loss point because the price will continue to go down. Okay, so this is the market. The how to filter and the starting point. Where is the starting point? The percentage gain was less than 10% in the last 50 days. The amplitude was more than 20% in the last 50 days. Turnover rate was more than 70% in the last 50 days. Green column and multicolor dragon is less than 30. Start point, starting point. The box is parallel or elevated. The price upward break out the box. Further, if you don't know how to draw the box, I can show you one function. This function is very suitable for sideways, which is called box expert. Okay, so we can see this is the box expert. If you see the box appears, which means this is the sideways. Okay, then if you see the price fall below the box, this is the stop loss point. Then we can see next one. Let's see these strong stocks. So many chance to buy, but have you caught it? Then we can see this stock, this price. This is the box, right? The price up or the break out the box, box. This is a good chance to get in, okay? So box appears again. When to get in? Up or the break out. Then on high volume. Volume should increase. Then this is the good chance to go in. Okay, so this is the some stocks. But how to find this stock like this? You, if you want to find some stocks which can top break out the box, you can click filter. The eight experts, then we can see here, box top breakout is simple for weekly chart and daily chart. So if you want to find some stocks which belongs to top uh, box top breakout, you can use this method. Then we just click filter, see whether have some stocks up or the break out the box or not. You can use this simple, uh, simple method to find some stocks. Okay, then we can see the first one. For this stock, if you see the stock like this, where are you getting or not? Cannot, because this is big gap we'd better give up this stock. Then we can see next one for this one. 
this one is okay or not? No, because no volume, right? If you see the stock is no volume, not active, how can you make profit from these stocks? Then we cannot. Then we can see the last, next one. For this stock, the price up or the breakout, but we can see the volume increase or not. There's no volume, so we'd better not buy. We should wait and see. So every day you can use this method to filter some stocks which top, which is top breakout, okay? So this is the first one. Then we can see next one. This is the box. Up on the breakout is the volume, okay? It's the good chance. Then break out again, here is another chance to get in. If you buy at this price, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, you can make short-term great profit, okay? So this is this. Let's see this one. This one is good or not? Not good, because why? Trend is down, but now sideways or not? Now it's sideways, right? Okay, so we can see this is a box. Box appears, but never up top breakout, top breakout. We wait and see. Then this one box appears again, when to get in. When is the good chance to get in? If you see the price up for the break out this box on increase on high volume, then maybe you have a chance to get in. Okay, so let's see this stock. Then we can see this one. For this stock, it's still inside the box, right? Okay, when to get in. If you see the price, we can see this one is important. This price is the big resistance. When to get in. If you see the price up for the break out this area on high volume, here is the good chance to catch some profit. Okay, so you need to wait when the price will upward break out this price, then you can consider buying. But if it never break out, you'd better wait and see because maybe we'll continue to sideways because we don't know when the price upward break out. Maybe one year, maybe one month, is maybe one day, right? If one year we waste the time, if one day maybe have good chance, okay? Then we should uh, wait and see. So this is the profit. Then we can see this one. This is the box, right? When you get in, ask for the breakout on high volume. So this is the good chance to buy again, okay? So let's see some stocks. Then we see here. This is the box, right? After the breakout, should we buy or not? Should we get in or not? Yes, because we can see what price after the breakout the box, volume increase. Okay, we can catch some profit. Then after the breakout again, buy or not? Good chance. Then after the breakout again, buy or not, still can buy, okay? Then you can know where is the good chance to get in according to the box. This is for, just now I taught you, if you do, if you want to do short, some short-term trading, you can use this method for box top breakout for catching some short-term profit. But for bank operation for short, for long-term, Long-term banker's operation is longer, generally at least two years. So chips holding is relatively more, which is over 50% fully controlled due to chips holding. The time for opening position is long and the rising space is large. Therefore, it is the best and safest way to make high profits. Okay, let's see this one. This one is strong or not quite strong right because the trend is uptrend 
Then we can see the chips distribution. We connect the low point to the current price. You should know where is the big resistance. Or if the price break out the big resistance, you should know the rising space is large. Okay. So we can see here the chips distribution, more chips here. So this is the Baker cost. If the price up the breakout, you should know for the rising space is too is high, right? It's large. So this one is the first target price. So for the, in the future there's no longer chips, which means no resistance. Okay? So the rising space is large. We can see some stocks. So let's see this one. Still sideways, right? But we want to know if the price break out, the rising space where the target price. Okay, then we should connect. I should change the. Then if you use this method, you can click ANZ, but here no ANZ. Okay. Then we connect this high point to the current price. Okay, then we can connect this high point to the current price. Then we click CD, chips distribution. Okay, then if we follow this chips distribution for this one, this is the long chips, which means the large support and resistance. So if the price can go up or can upward breakout, you should know where is the next target price. So here is the next target price. Then if you see the price breakout, the rising space is more is larger or small. It's large because from this price to this price you can earn huge profit. Then if you see the price up or the breakout, the next one is here. The rising space is also good. Then if break out next one and the next one. So if you want to know the rising space, you can use this method. So this just now I already show you this one. So if you see the price after the breakout, maybe here the rising space is good. Then you can earn some great, great profit. So I give you some examples. If you have two stocks to choose, well, which one is the buy? Good to buy A stocks and B stocks. A stock we can see up from one to two. B stock from one to one point five. So. We can see the next day. If you see the rising space, maybe the next target price is 2.5. This one target price is $3. Which one you will choose? Or the rising space, which one you will choose? Obviously B, because from this current price to the target price, we have more profit. Okay, then we should find this one is better. But if you find some stocks, 
this is the current price. This is the target price. Only one, only one, uh, only ten cents. It's not good. Okay. So let's see the next one. How to find strong stocks? The first one just broke through the previous high point in the monthly chart. Volume increase in the monthly chart. Trend is up in the daily chart. Okay. So if you see stocks uh, like this information, uh, like uh, if you see one stock for the monthly chart break out the previous high point and the volume increase, trend is up in the daily chart. This is the strong stocks. But how to find it? You can use this filter method to filter some stocks like this. Click filter, then quotation, close his new high in 28 days. Then just click filter, that's all. Only one condition. So how to do that? Click filter information, filter method. Then quotation, close hit a new high in 28 days. Then click filter. Then you can find some stocks, whether it's strong for long term or not. Okay, so let's see the first one. If you know the stocks, then you should judge the rising space is high or not. Okay, so we can see this stock. You can connect this low point to the current price, then click CD, chips distribution. Then you should know where is the target price. Then click this one. So you should know here is the target price, right? Then we uh, here is the first target price. If break out here and here is the rising space. Then we can see next one. This stock, no need to care. And we can see this one filtered. So we filtered this stock, right? And we can see the rising space. If the you buy the stock, target price is around here. So maybe the rising space is good, okay? Then we can see next one. This stock is strong or not? It's quite strong. So for this stock, we cannot know the target price because already create a new high, okay? Then we can see this one. This one is still sideways. We can draw the line, still sideways area. When to get in? When to get in? If you see the price after the break out of this box, so maybe the you can see there's no chips, which means there's no resistance. So if you see this stock break out, maybe you have another chance to make a great profit, okay? Because there's no chips. So if we see the price go down like this, then after the break out this area, maybe you have a chance to make profit and the target price will tear here, okay? So we can see this one. This one is so strong, right? Already new high. Then this, this one also a new high. So this one is good or not? Yes, it's quite good. Why? Because create new high again. Then we can click CD, chips distribution. If you never buy this stock, we are you getting now or not? No, because we can see big resistance, right? So the rising space is too small. Then you should uh, wait and see. So you can see filtered so many stocks. Then you can uh, use some method to judge which one is better to get in, okay? So this is for the filter method. Click filter, it's simple. No need to set so many conditions. Just click the quotation, close hit the new high in 28 days. Click this one, then filter, and you can filter some stocks, okay. Okay, then we see the next one. The rising phase of individual stocks breaks through the important resistance and the sideways area. The investment index first stock next. 
this is important because this is our investment philosophy. The index first, the stock next. So if you want to judge whether this stock is strong or not, you can use this method. The price low point is lower, but this is the index. But for the strong stocks, future strong stocks, low point is not lower. So this one is stronger than index. And we can see here, the high point is lower, but the high point is higher. So this one is stronger than index or not. Stronger, right? This is strong stocks. Then we can see here, this is the uh, previous high point. Then the price up would break out the previous high point, but for the market, never break out. So this one is the strong stock, okay? Then we can see next one. For this stock, strong or not? We can see here, this is the market index. Index down, but the high po low point is higher, stronger than index, right? Then we can see the index go down, the stock go up, stronger than index. So if you see the this stock in the future, they will be the strong stocks, okay? Then this is the our best choice. So let's see this one. How to confirm? For this is the index, we can see the price up would break out the previous high point. Okay, but we can see here for the individual stocks, up or the breakout or not, not yet. So we can see the index already up or the breakout. But for the current, but for the individual stocks, this same day up or the breakout or not, not yet, right? So good or not? It's not good. Okay, so now this one is. Uh, normal. Yeah, then you can see this one is not good. Okay, so you should know how to judge. And we see ne we see the mark chart chart comparison. Then you should know which stock is strong. Then we can see this stock. Why this stock is strong? The index. So we can see here, the index. Then we see this is the platform, okay? Then for this stock, the price go down, the index go down, sideways right. The price up or the breakout, up or the breakout. So this one is good. Then we can see next one. Let's see this one is stronger than index or not. So firstly, we should see this one first. Then we can see here, like this stock, the price go down, index go down, price sideways. For this period, stronger than index or not? Stronger. Then we can see the price go down, sideways. The price, the index create a new high. Upward break out the sideways area, upward break out the previous high point. But for this stock, create a new high or not? Not yet. So this one, can we get in or not? Cannot, because we should know the stock is weaker than index in the future. So we can see the price continue to go up, but the stock still go down, okay? So you should know how to judge the stock like this. Then we see, okay, let's see this one. So we see this period. This is the sideways area, the previous high point. But for this individual stocks, not breakout, not upward breakout. We should wait and see, okay? It's weaker than index. Then we can see recently, the index go down, the price sideways or go down. Sideways, right. So for current, for the current price, stronger than index or weaker? Stronger, stronger than index. So maybe in the future, maybe in the future, it's the strong one. So you should follow the index, index first, the stock next. And how to 
At this point, firstly, you should know how to confirm the bottom, the sign of the bottom, and how to buy low. Okay. So let's see this one. Let's see this start. Okay. So firstly, we can see the blue candlestick appears. Blue candlestick appears. Blue appears. Why the blue appears? Because in the downtrend, the blue signal will appear frequently. Okay. So. Blue means the oversold area, okay? So you can use this one to judge whether it's the oversold or overbought, okay? So let's continue. Homely Taizi. For the notes, stock price is in the downtrend. So if you want to wait, if you want to see the blue candlestick appears, you should see in the, down, in the uptrend, in the downtrend. Firstly, the stock price is in the downtrend. Homely Taiji blue signal appears. Buy for rebound once the candle of the next day is bullish candlestick. Stop loss once the price fall below the low price of the blue signal. Okay. Then how to do that? Click SGN Taiji signal. So we can see the Taiji signal. The blue blue signal will appear in the downtrend okay so if you see the price is in the in the downtrend the blue signal will appears okay will appear then we can see here blue appears next day can get in or not cannot because it's not the bullish candlestick then next day can get in or not here can buy or not yes because we can see the next day is the bullish candlestick and the higher than the blue candle, blue signal. But where is the stop loss point? We know, we know this is the downtrend. If we buy some stocks, if we buy for rebound, we should uh, buy more or less. Less, because downtrend. Okay, where is the stop loss point? So maybe here you buy at long point, but you should sell if the price fall below the low price of the blue signal, here is the sell point or stop loss point. So here cannot buy again. Here cannot buy, cannot buy. Buy or not? Still cannot. Here can buy or not? Yes, have a chance. But where is the stop loss point? Fall below the low price of the blue signal. Okay. Then we can see next one. Let's see the gain team. So we can see the gain team is uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend. So you can see there's no blue signal appears in the down in the uptrend. Because the blue signal only appears in the downtrend. If you see the price is in the uptrend, the yellow candlestick will appear, not the blue candlestick. Okay? So how to see the yellow signal? Yellow signal appears next day. The well, bearish candlestick and uh, fall below the low price. So here is the sell point for short term. Here is the another sell point. Here is the sell point for short term. Okay. Then if you see the price up or the break out, the yellow signal again is the good buy point. So we can see for this one. This is the blue candlestick appears right because the price down then the blue candle will appear. This day can buy or not? No. Can buy or not? No. Cannot. Why? Because not hyper. So we wait and see. This one can buy or not? Yes. This one can buy or not? For this candlestick, can buy or not? If you see the price, just to see the condition. How many times in the blue appears? Buy for rebound once the candle of the next day is bullish candlestick. So for 
for this one. If you see the next day is not the bullish candlestick, then if you wait till the few a few days, the price upward break out the high price of the blue candlestick, you can buy again. So maybe another day, the candlestick is bullish or bearish. Bearish, right? We wait and see. Next day, upward break out, buy or not? Here is the buy point, okay? So you should uh, pay attention. Then we see next one. So see some uh, stocks. Then we can see this one. This is the blue candlestick, right? Okay, blue candlestick appears. Next day, can buy or not? Cannot. Buy or not? Still cannot. Here, buy or not? Buy or not? Is the buy point. But lose money or not? Yes. Upward again. Because here is your buy price, right? Then upward again. So you should know the price. This is the resistance. Because maybe here you buy, right? You cannot earn money and lose some money. Then if you see the price rebound to here again, you should know here is the support or resistance. Resistance. So you should sell or not. Sell first. Okay. And where is the next sell stop loss point? If you see fall below, you should stop loss. Okay. So here. Can buy or not? Still cannot. We wait and see. Okay. But for the current price. Next day, buy or not? Cannot. Can we get in? Oh. Yeah. Yes. You remember to focus. You forget to focus on the volume. Okay. Can buy or not? Yes. So you buy. This is your buy price. Okay. And you want to know the rising space, you just connect CD, chips distribution. So we should know if the price can break out of this area, the rising space is good. Okay. Then we can see next one. We just see the blue candlestick, okay? So we can see this one. Blue appears. Next day, can buy or not? Okay. It's the buy point, but you should buy more or less? Okay. Less. Stop loss point is where? Where is the stop loss point? Fall below the low price of the blue candlestick. You should stop loss because you cannot confirm each time, every time you can buy at the uh, correct point. So you should uh, set stop loss point. High, quality, high probability profit model. Market supply and demand is the major factor of stock price movement. In the stock market, fund is the primary reason for price ups and downs. Okay, so funds or money is important because in, uh, at the beginning of the seminar, I already taught you the fonts, okay? So we can see this one. Do you know which candlestick it is it? This one is the division expert, not the trend expert. So we can see the red column. Red column is the bank money inflow. The green column is the bank money outflow, okay? So if you see the buy price appears, buy point appears, and the bank money inflow is good, okay? Then if you see the buy price appears during the bank money outflow, you buy or not? You better give up, okay? So bank money outflow or inflow. 
Then we can see this one. Division expert. So let's see this one. Can we buy at this price or not? This price can buy or not? Cannot. Okay. You'd better wait till the price after the break of the high price of the blue candlestick. The probability is higher. I see this one. Noble group, the blue candlestick appears, right? The blue candlestick appears, what's that meaning? Oversold, went to get in, upward breakout, okay? So let's see this stock. High probability profit model. We can see this one. Low point is lower, right? Low point is lower. And we see here. Low point is lower or higher? Higher. What's that meaning? Price hits a new low. But money inflow. Price. Price hits a new low. Make money inflow. You should know <coughs> this, this stock may have chance to get in. Why? We can see, you should know if the price continue to hit a new low, but the black money should outflow. It's normal situation. But if you see the price hit a new low, black money inflow is not abnormal situation. So you should know this is a bottom deviation. Where is the good chance? If you see the green turn to the red candlestick, means black money inflow, you can consider to operate the stock like this, okay? So let's see this one. Firstly, we can see here, the blue point is lower, but we can see the dimension expert, blue point is lower or higher? Higher. What's that meaning? And we can see the bank money inflow, so you can see you can know that the stock is strong enough. It's strong. Okay. Then we see some in individual stocks. Okay, then we see some individual stocks. See whether there's deviation or not. Okay, so let's see this one. If you see the price hits a new low, the bank money not hits a new low, and the bank money inflow, so you should know this is the bottom division. You have another chance to get in. Or you can see here, how to combine with these two. Then we see the blue candlestick appears. Blue candlestick appears around here but we can see the bank money inflow or outflow next day if you see the young the bullish candlestick will you buy or not you maybe you will buy but we can see next day the bank money inflow or outflow still outflow can we buy or not cannot we better wait and see So we see this one. The yellow candlestick appears, which means the high, uh, the warning signal, right? But we can see next day, the bank money outflow or inflow, still inflow, sell or not? No need to sell, to wait and see, okay? Yellow candlestick appears again next day, sell or not? No need to sell. But for this one, yellow candlestick appears next day, 
bank money inflow or outflow? In outflow, sell or not? Sell for short term. Okay. Then we see this one. The blue candlestick appears right. Next day, bank money inflow or outflow? Outflow, buy or not? Can, no need to get in. So we can see here, blue appears. This one, can we buy or not? If you buy, here is the buy point. But you should know where is the stop loss point. Here you can stop loss. Okay, so you can avoid some risk. So you should know how to combine with these two functions. So we see here, blue candlestick appears, right? We can pay attention, so the price may have some rebound. Next day, buy or not? No need to buy. Next day, buy or not? This one. Point, can we get in or not? Cannot. Even if the bank money inflow, but the bullish can this next day the candlestick is not the bullish candlestick. We wait and uh, see. So this one, can we buy or not? Buy or not? Not the bullish candlestick because it's the Dow G. Okay. okay. Then we wait and see. Can we buy around here or not? You how to confirm? High point is higher. Closing price is higher than the high price of the blue candlestick. Okay, so we can see this high price is 0 0.03, 0 0.03, same. Okay, so still the same. We wait. Buy or not? Buy point. But where is the stop loss point? fall below so still sideways then if you buy around here you still can hold because we can see the chain is still down trend but here is the buy point then we can see this price this stock next blue candlestick appears so you should pay attention because maybe this is the short term rebound next day buy can we get in or not no need to buy okay Still wait and see. Yellow candlestick up here. This is the warning signal, right? Next day, sell or not? No, because the bank money inflow, we no need to sell. Okay. Then we see blue candle, yellow candlestick appears. Sell or not? Sell. <laughs> Here, can we sell or not? Sell. sell. Blue candlestick disappear. Bank money outflow. Sell or not? Sell. So, sell point is good or not? Yes, it's good. Then we see next one. This is the yellow candlestick, right? This is the warning signal. Next day, sell or not? No need, because bank money is still in flow. Okay, so sell or not? This day, which can we sell or not? No need, because the bank money is still red color in flow. But this day, can we sell or not? Sell. Blue, yellow candlestick disappear. Bank money outflow. You should sell first. But next day, upward break out again. We can buy again. Okay? So we buy again. Then we can see this one. Sell or not? If we see the candlestick like this, sell or not? No need to sell because we can see the closing price still not lower than the yellow candlestick. Even if the blue, even if the bank money outflow, we still can hold, okay? Then we 
see some diverse thoughts. Okay, let me see this one. Yellow candlestick appears. This is a warning signal. Next day we sell or not? Just can keep it. No need to sell, okay? So this one, yellow appears again. Next day, sell or not? Wait and see, okay? Yellow appears. Next day, we sell or not? Still can keep it, okay? But when to sell? When is the good sell point? Here we need sell or not? Sell. Because the price fall below the low price of the yellow candlestick and the bank money outflow. So here is the sell point. Okay, then you should sell first. Then we can see here, green, blue candlestick appears. Next day, buy or not? Can we buy around here or not? Cannot, because bank money not outflow, not in flow. Then we need to wait and see, okay? Then if we buy around here, maybe we don't sell, then we will lose some money. Then we see this one. Blue candlestick appears. Next day we buy or not? Buy or not? Not buy point, okay? So how to catch the good profit? By the these two functions. The first one is for how many times? Uh, how many times? How many times is it Five point. <coughs> Blue candle. Plus banker. And the blue candlestick should disappear. Next day is the bullish. The next day is the <coughs> bullish candlestick. Okay. The sell point, yellow candlestick, and uh, the next day the candlestick is bullish candlestick, <coughs> and uh, the closing price is lower than the low uh, low price of the blue can, uh, yellow candlestick, and the bank money outflow. So this is the sell point. So for this price, can we get in a, at this point or not? This one. <coughs> no, because blue disappear, and the next day candlestick should be the bullish candlestick and higher than the blue candlestick. And even if the bank money flow, we should wait and see. Okay. Here, the price already after the break out the blue candlestick. Bank money inflow, buy or not? Here is the buy point. Okay. Then we see here. Blue candlestick disappear. Next day, the bullish bullish candlestick and high closing price is higher than the high point of the blue candlestick. Then next day. Buy or not? Can buy because we can see the bank money flow. We can get in. Okay, then we wait and see because the bank money is still in flow. So how to confirm? We can see here the low price is lower, but we can see the bank money. The price is a new low, but the bank money not is a new low because the low point is higher. So this is the bottom division. We no need to sell, just keep it, okay? Even if the price downward break out, 
fall below the low price of the blue candlestick. We still can keep it because the top deviation or the bottom deviation. So we wait and see. We still can keep our stocks. Then we see here. Yellow candlestick appears right. Next day, sell or not? No need to sell, just uh, keep it. Okay, so here we sell or not? Sell. Okay, then buy again. So you can use this method to judge your stocks. Then we see this one. This is the yellow candlestick, right? Next day, sell or not? Here we sell or not? No need to sell, just keep it. Because the bank money inflow, okay? Then you wait and uh, see. Yellow appear, uh, appears again. Next day, sell or not? No need to sell. But we see here. If you see the price fall below the low price of the blue yellow candlestick, bank money outflow, we should uh, sell first. Okay, then we can sell around here, avoid some risk. Okay, so this is the method high probability profit model. Price hits a new low, money inflow. So this is the good chance because the top bottom deviation, you have another chance to get in. Okay, for the summary, six elements of causing investment loss. The first one, excessive trading on limited capital. What's that meaning? Okay, so we see here, we see some If you have five thousand uh, or five uh, fifty thousand, okay. If you have fifty thousand capital, so maybe you bought around for uh, forty five thousand shares. Then you left another five hundred cash. Will you choose to buy another stock or not? So maybe you don't want to keep your money. You will use the $500 to buy some tiny stocks. Then if you put, if you buy, put the whole of money into the stocks, it's good or not? It's not good. So you sh if you have limited capital, you should leave some cash. No need to put your whole cash into the stocks okay so this is the first one the second one investors never set stop loss point to control the loss i knew uh, one successful trading man he ch he maybe he ch he invested uh, he traded some stock like this he bought some stocks maybe for short term then he will set stop loss point. So maybe, uh, maybe we see the price like this. He bought some stocks 0 0.5. Then here 0 0.7. Make money or not? Yes, make money. Then he sold. The next day, up again. Then I asked him, will you feel re regret? Because the price continue to go up. But he said, I will not regret because I already made money, okay? I cannot make uh, money every time. So you should set stop loss point. Every time you should set stop loss point because you cannot confirm every time you can buy at the uh, right point. The second one, lack of market knowledge, which is the most important reason for loss. You should know how to analyze the market, okay? So every day when we start a seminar, we should uh, uh, do some market analysis because we should uh, know the market knowledge that we, we analyze stocks next. 
then uh, first one, set up corresponding trading model after filter. After you filter some stocks, you should set up corresponding trading model for judging buy and sell point. This is important. If you know how to filter, but you don't know when to buy, when to sell, it is not complete trading platform, trading model. The next one, pay attention to the fund position control and the risk, okay? So for the in the stock market, if you want to make stable profit, continuous profit, you should uh, pay attention to the risk, then focus on the profit. The last one, learn to change. So maybe you use this, you insist on this method to operate your stocks, but maybe every time you only have one time to be, one time to make profit, you should know the method is not suitable. You should change, okay? Change to the correct trading model. This is important. So if you want to make continuous profit, you should remember the six elements of causing investment loss. The first one, tra uh, exce excessive trading on limited capital. The second one, investors never set stop loss point to control the loss. So we should set stop loss point. Lack of market knowledge, which is the most important reason for loss. So if you want to trade some stocks, market first, index first, then stock next. Set up corresponding trading model of the future. If you want to have complete trading model, you should know how to filter, then how to judge the buy and the sell point, okay? The next one, pay attention to the fund position control and risk. You should remember, risk is the first, then profit is the next, okay? Then the last one, learn to change. You should change your mind, change your method, change your idea, okay? So this is the summary of the course. Then let's review it. When we learned, uh, we learned some. For the current, for current market, if you want to analyze market, for monthly chart, you should use KDJ indicator or time period theory. The for weekly chart, you can use trend line to judge the trend is uptrend or downtrend. For daily chart, you can use chips distribution to, to, for, to uh, forecast your target price, okay? Then this is the current market. So this is for the stock market funds. Banker operation for short term. Short term bankers usually for few days or few months. Then selling pressure, more floating trips. Banker control, banker money not fully controlled. Selling pressure is heavy and only can use short term fundamentals. Usually in the sudden soar, the price rise at the bottom break out bottom breakout. So if you see the, some stocks in sideways at the bottom, you should find some stocks which can upward break out the sideways area. The filter and starting point. Starting point, the box is parallel or relevant. Then the price upward break out the box. Okay, <coughs> so this is important for us. How to filter? You can use one filter, two filter method. To, you can use one filter method for short term operating. Okay, so how to do that? Just a quick filter. Then eight expert box top breakout for short term bankers operation filter. Okay, the next one for long term banker operation for long term. Long-term bankers usually at least two years. So we can see the bank money fully controlled because the red column of multicolor dragon is over 50. And uh, we can see the writing space is large. So it is the best and safest way to make high profit. So you can use 
shift distribution to judge the target price, the rising space. How to find strong stocks? Just uh, broke out the previous high point in the monthly chart. Volume increase in the monthly chart and trend is up in the daily chart. So how to filter for long term one? You can click quotations. Close his new high in 28 days. Then just click filter. This is for this is this filter method is for long term bank operation. Okay. Rising space of individual stocks. Breaks through the important resistance and sideways area. The investment safe index first, the stock next. So if you want to judge whether this stock is suitable to buy or not, you can use index chart comparison to judge whether your stock is the potential stock or not. If stronger than index, it is the potential stock in the future. If weaker than index, you'd better give up. Okay. So this is how to catch the starting point. Finally, you should confirm whether this is the bottom or not. Then sign of the bottom and how to buy low. Okay. So this is the only tiny thing that can help us to judge whether this price is in the overbought or oversold. Then for the homely buy low signal, stock price is in the downtrend. <laughs> homely tiny blue signal appears buy for rebound once. The candle of the next day is bullish candle. Stop loss once the price fall below the low price of the blue signal. Okay, then this is the one. So market high probability future profit model. So you can use this one. Red column stands for the banker money inflow. Green column for the banker money outflow. Then high rise, high probability, uh, high probability profit model. If you see the price down, then the low point is higher. This is the bottom deviation. Then maybe in the future, the price will go up. Price is a new low, but bank money inflow. This is the good stock. The price index price is a new low, but the bank money inflow because the low point is higher and the bank money inflow here is a good choice to get in okay good chance to buy and last one is for the summary six elements of causing investment flaws first one you should control you should uh, manage your capital okay you should leave some money to you should leave some money in your account the next one should set stop loss point to control the loss. Stop loss point is important for short term trading. Lack of market knowledge, which means we should uh, learn how to read the chart, how to analyze the market. Set up the trading model, include the filter, buy point, and the sell point, and stop loss point. This is a complete trading model. The next one, pay attention to the fund position, control and risk. So you should remember, if you want to make huge profit and uh, make more and lose less, you should see risk is important than profit. The last one, learn to change. If your method is not good or not is wrong, you should change to another method to operate your stocks. Okay, so this is today's course. Thank you so much.